Hi, I'm Henry of BlueHairArts.com. I'm now um, continuing to work for a commission, the uh, name seal and mood seal I just did. Um, so this next is a uh, name seal for Peter Clark. And uh, the translation here is uh, based on the sound and the meaning. Um, let's do this one first. <coughs> The first character I'm doing is uh, the family name, uh, Chinese name, the family name comes first. Uh, we only have a hundred uh, family names, uh, about 100 uh, characters can be used as uh, family names. And unlike the Western culture, you have more family names but uh, uh, less individual names, uh, given names. In Chinese, the given name is more um, individualized, and uh, virtually you can use any word in Chinese language to be your given name. So you need to consult a native speaker uh, to choose carefully. Some characters are might more uh, commonly used in names or for male names, and some others you know, for female names. Um, this character is based on the, the pronunciation of uh, clack and we use uh, this first letter C uh, to find a, a family name Kong as in Confucius, you know, Confucius, uh, the famous philosopher, and the Chinese uh, thinker, um, Confucianism, the founder of Confucianism. So uh, the same family name, Kong. Kong is like a, uh, there's not much meaning, like a whole or um, great, something like that. It is a f uh, first name, I mean last name here. This is a different stone than the first one. The Changhua stone is a very uh, powdery, kind of not chip as much as uh, this Qingtian stone, we call it green field stone. Also named after the place of the stone where it's coming from the, in China. You may notice the style I'm doing is uh, positive carving this time, different from the negative carving that we did uh, earlier for the wood steel, because it's a um, yin yang balance. If you use them together, it will be complement. By the way, when you um, when you make a four character seal, you have uh, two kinds of uh, templates for layout. Uh, one is go uh, in a circle, and crosswise. Uh, so kong, ping tai, yin. Ping tai is uh, translated uh, as a p you know, Peter, and yin is uh, the seal seal of uh, Peter Kong uh, or Peter. Clark. So next the uh, character I'm doing is uh, Ping. I took this uh, from the first initial uh, P, you know, uh, Ping. Ping means uh, uh, peace. Peace or even. Uh, you come to uh, realize the peace after a rise. So usually, it's like a, uh, also uh, in a verb is pacify. So you uh, come to peace after a turbulence or after rise, and come to even. So that's uh, the meaning of this word. Pin. Peter is a retired uh, 
uh, scholar or uh, retired uh, gentleman. Um, he started painting many, many years ago, uh, but uh, was busy with other things in, in life. Now he is retired, finally come back to Sumie painting. He actually started learning uh, painting in Japan uh, when he is stationed there. This name, uh, artist name, reflect your um, your different uh, life stages. You can make uh, more uh, more than one names uh, as uh, your life uh, changes. So it's also kind of like a, you know, another kind of mood seal. several cuts for a stroke in positive carbon. We cut the outline along the stroke and then uh, we cut out the background in both strokes in both cutting. Now uh, it comes to the third character, uh, Tai. We took from the the T in Peter. Uh, tai means uh, great uh, peace, quiet. Uh, it's also similar to Ping Tai Ping Tai. Means the great peace. Peace, uh, quietness. Stone has some sand, so sometimes uh, when you got hard sand, you need to to do this. 
cannot push it, just cut it. Okay, now the last character is uh, in or uh, C. The common character used in the name chop. Now I'm ready to make a first uh, imprint. Hmm. Interesting. It's thicker than I thought, but uh, it's interesting, um, kind of like it, there's some extra line I want to take it out, like uh, this part uh, needs to disconnect, some extra dots there, I like the contrast between the thin borderline and the, the character, actually I like the accidental effects I got on this stone. There's some uh, sand spot I like. And uh, I even like this uh, this connection of the two strokes. Actually, it comes uh, like a cursive style writing. It connected naturally. I mean, it's like a, a good, you know, Ping Tai. Peter connects together the Kong. Okay, I like the little bit connection there, and I like especially the contrast between the thicker uh, strokes with the thin border. So I just leave it uh, as is, just like uh, Peter favored the phrase uh, "come out to and intentionally." That's what it does. So what I intention is this, but it comes out this is even better. So let me make a final official imprint with this special paper and white paper underneath. So you can see better. Perfect. You can see the different paper um, can make us a difference in uh, the print, but uh, both of them are very nice. If you load more and print on um, computer paper, it, it blurs a little bit like that. On absorbent shuan paper, rice paper, it's more uh, clean, but uh, you know, very. Uh, both are good, I think. Just uh, um, enjoy the difference, you know. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Peter, for your commission, and uh, thank everybody for watching. If you have any needs for a Chinese name chop or mood seal, please let me know by visiting blueheronarts.com. Goodbye. Okay,